trying to play cool. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a holiday makeup tutorial on this look right here. I personally love this makeup look because it can go with pretty much anything and you can wear it to whatever you're going to, whether it's an event, whether it's in your living room with your grandma, I don't know. It's fairly simple to achieve and I think it's perfect for this holiday season. Also in this makeup tutorial I use some of Jaclyn's Morphe brushes and I will let you know what my thoughts are on these as well during the tutorial. Also before we get into this tutorial, oh, my frog, my throat. Also before we get into this tutorial I just wanted to say thank you so much for six thousand subscribers that is so crazy thank you so so much to each and every one of you i really really appreciate it again i just i can't believe it it's so crazy <laughs> if you are new to my channel and you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit subscribe before you leave and give this video a thumbs up i would greatly appreciate it so um yeah let's just get into this tutorial my skin is breaking out so bad like this guy right here living his best life like his best life Okay, so I already cleansed, moisturized, I just did my brows, so now I'm going to put some concealer under them just to kind of clean them up a bit. I use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Chocolate, and I use the Anastasia brush as well, and I don't think there's a number on here anymore because I've used it so much. Yeah, it's just their angled brush with a spoolie. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I'm going to clean up underneath my brows. Let me zoom in a little bit here. <laughs> That's terrifying. So I'm going to just underline and clean up the bottom of my brows. And then I'll drag the concealer down to my eyelids as well because I'm going to use this as a primer for my eyeshadow. Oh, this is in the shade ivory by the way I don't think I said that and now we're done okay so to blend in my concealer I'm going to be using the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH08 brush it looks like this and let's try it out I usually like to just use oh my gosh I forgot to get my nails done I'm sorry you guys have to put up with these I'm I'm sorry like I was saying I usually like to use the warmth of my fingers to blend in right underneath my brow. I've been really interested to see how I like these brushes because I have Jaclyn's Morphe Favorites brushes. So I honestly wanted to see if there was a big difference between the two bundles. Um, and so far, they're really nice. They're really nice quality. This one was really soft on my eyelids. I love um, the white and silver. So far I'm seeing a big difference in shapes and whatnot, um, but the quality is still really great and obviously similar to the other ones because it's Morphe. Okay, so now I'm going to set the concealer with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder and this is in the shade Fair. And I'm gonna dip that same brush in the powder and set my eyeballs. I cannot believe Christmas is next week. Like I'm not prepared at all. Obviously, super excited for Christmas, but I just feel very frazzled. Okay, so eyes are set. Okay, I'm going to go in with eyeshadow. I'm going to be using Life's a Drag palette. and going to go in with this shade Sickening. Sickening. Uh, I'm going to be using the JH30 like this. I'm just going to put this shade all over my eye and into my crease. Then I'm gonna go in with the shade Hunty right here. Put that up in my crease just to kind of deepen it up. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the shade Mug right here. And this is with a JH35 brush and I'm going to pack this on the outer corner of my eye. Santa, tell me. So I'm gonna go back in with the JH30 brush and just kind of blend everything out. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this really pretty gold shade called Legendary, and I'm gonna use H41 brush, which looks like this, like a flat brush, and I'm gonna spray some Morphe 
setting spray on it. Go ahead and start on the inner corner of my eye. Oh, she's pigmented. And then move to the center of my eye. Did you just hear my shoulders crack? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with mug and just deepen up the outer corner one last time just to make it really stand out. Who was texting me? I'm gonna go in with another shimmer on top of this one just to make it a little bit more like of a champagne color. And I'm gonna go in with character and it's this shimmer right here and put it right over top of legendary mm -hmm. I'm in it now with a black shadow I'm gonna be using shady in the lunar beauty <laughs> why is that so hard for me to say beauty learner <laughs> I'm gonna be using the shade shady and I'm just going to kind of smoke out the outer corner and kind of create a wing effect with the shadow. Um, I'm going to be using the Morphe M432 brush, looks like so. Um, I could be blind, but I didn't see a brush like this in her set. I love this technique because you can kind of be messy with it and smoke it out and it's still going to look good. Bam. Okay, the eyes are pretty much completed. Now we can get started on the face. And as far as Jacqueline's eyeshadow brushes go, so far so good. I really liked them. Um, like I said before, I have her Morphe Favorites bundle that she released like a year or two ago. I don't even remember that when that was. And they are very comparable to those. Obviously, they're both made by Morphe, so I was expecting that. So I'm interested to see how the face brushes are because these are shaped a lot differently than the Morphe Favorites ones. So yeah. Okay, so let's get into foundation. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Pro Glow foundation and I'm in the shade... It's the whitest one, Classic Ivory. So I will admit, I already used this foundation brush. This is the JH03. Um, the other day, I was getting ready super fast. My two-year-old had somehow run off with my beauty blender. Couldn't find it. So I was like, I need a brush, any brush. So I grabbed this out of um, the case, and I'm obsessed with this. I usually do not use brushes for foundation because I just haven't found the right one. They all get streaky, and I just don't like the application but this blends so beautifully. This one is not as dense as the Morphe, is it the M430? I can't remember, it's their popular foundation brush. It's not as short and dense as that one and I feel like it just blends so much better. So I'm really obsessed with this and I'm gonna keep using it. I literally use these brushes for the first time. Just one time. Why am I like this? Okay, then I'm gonna use my damp beauty blender. This is the Morphe beauty blender. Just kinda go over everything, make sure it's all blended nicely. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, which I'm almost out of. <laughs> And the weather outside is frightful. Then I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. I'm going to set my under eye. Almost forgot. Bye 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 bye. 
Okay, serious question though. One of my friends suggested that I do a tutorial and I sing everything I do. I personally feel like that's a little too much, but if you guys would enjoy that, I would totally be down. So with the same Fit Me powder, I'm going to go in with this big old brush, JH01, looks like that, and just set my entire face. Oh, this is nice. This is real nice. Now I need to bronze my face. I'm going to do the shade Donut right here, and I'm using the JH02. Approved. My forehead. Now for blush, I'm going to go in with MAC Melba, and I don't know which one of these brushes to use. I'm going to use the JH04. Okay, almost done. Now I'm going to go back to my eyes, and I'm, I'm going to use this JH39, just a little little guy right here and I'm gonna go in with mug and just smoke out the bottom lash line I found that brush I was looking for I'm an idiot now I'm going to curl my lashes and put on mascara you could definitely add false lashes to this. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. Definitely add false lashes to this look if you wanted to today. I'm just not feeling it. So I'm going to just curl my lashes and then use the Voluminous Lash Paris Mascara. This is my favorite mascara as of right now. Okay, now I'm going to set my face with the Morphe Setting Spray. Now for highlight, I'm going to be using the Morphe 8H palette and using Beam, which is this one right here. And I'm going to be using the JH09 brush. Okay, last but not least, I'm going to complete this look with a classic red lip, and I'm going to be using the Morphe Liquid Lip in Hot Shot. This is my favorite red lip right now. I'm obsessed. Okay guys, that completes this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you and your family have an incredible holiday season. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. Uh, I just hope you feel loved and appreciated this holiday season. Thank you so, so much to each and every one of you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.